November 15th at 425 Eastern is circled on my calendar. Patriots Giants at the Meadowlands. We know the G-Men had the Pats number back in 2007. In 2011, of course, winning the Super Bowl. But this time around, New England is favored by seven to stay perfect. Skip, what chances do you give the G-Men to win this one? I must admit to you, when I first saw this betting line this morning, seven point, only seven, oh God. It, it sort of gave me pause. I thought, well, somebody in Las Vegas, people who are very smart at what they do, they're giving the Giants a little bit of respect here, just a little bit. It's only seven. I thought it might be ten. And I will be the first to admit to you, Eli Manning against the Patriots scares me to death. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm not faking. I'm telling you from my heart, he scares me to death. Eli Manning versus New England has nuclear capability. You want to know why? He is descended from, as you always say, NFL royalty. Son of Archie, mm -hmm. little brother of Peyton. And Eli Manning grew up around pro football thinking he was really great at what he was about to do because his father was really good and his big brother is really good and he should be really good. He's 6'5", he's got all the talent in the world and he is the weirdest quarterback in the history of this league. I never know what to make of him. You say Jay Cutler is emotionless and, and hard to read and what's your other word, apathetic or whatever. Half the time I think Eli's Jay Cutler. Except Eli had, he's, he's Jay Cutler with two of the most unlikely and lucky playoff runs in the history of this league. Both of them resulting in Super Bowl wins, lucky Super Bowl wins over my New England Patriots, my Tom Brady Patriots. And I never know if, if Eli cares or doesn't care because he will try anything at any moment. And if it blows up in his face, he just shrugs and goes on because he's Eli Manning. His father's Archie. His big brother's Peyton. He's made all the money he'll ever need in the world. And he just goes on to the next play, which is why Eli Manning has led this league in turnovers, in interceptions three times. And my, my favorite stat, would you believe that since the start of 2007, listen to this, Jay Cutler is second in the NFL in turnovers since the start of 2007. Guess who leads in turnovers since 07, the start of 07? Eli. Eli, by far. He has 181 turnovers to Jay Cutler's second place, 161. Mm -hmm. That's Eli Manning. He, 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 when, when you least expect it, he will just blow up, and then he'll blow up on you. Mm -hmm. And listen, those two plays in the Super Bowl, the, the first one to Tyree, it's the biggest pass in a prayer I have ever seen. It's third and five at the 44. There are their own 44. He, I don't know how he got away because he's not that athletic. And then he just flings it to nowhere. I don't know what Rodney Harrison was doing. He wasn't doing anything. We'll talk about him later in the show. But all of a sudden, Tyree goes up and it sticks in his face. I pass. wouldn't say he wasn't doing anything. Yeah. Well, I well, mean, I saw well, you gotta, jump you, up and You got to get your hand down. on the ball. It, you know? it hangs up there for 14 seconds. You got to get your hand on the ball. And it sticks in, in Tyree's face mask. He'd caught four balls all season. This is impossible. And Tom Brady had done what he always does he had clutched up and thrown the touchdown pass to Randy Moss with a couple of minutes left, and all of a sudden it's 14 to 10, and all of a sudden it's 17 to 14, Eli. How did he do that? And then in the next Super Bowl, Eli, they're backed up, they're in jail, they're stuck at their 12-yard line, and the he Manningham. throws one down the chimney to Manningham. It was a great throw. That was a great throw. I, I got to tell you. But it followed on the heels of the unluckiest throw in Tom Brady's career, because I'm, I'm getting ahead of our video here, but, yep. but just before that, Brady had Wes Welker right down the seam, just, just wide open. Just lead him a little bit. Just lead him just a little bit, Tom. Hit him in stride. It's going to be a touchdown, and the game's going to be out of reach. But no, he threw it a little behind him. Tom Brady made a bad throw. I said this. Oh, yeah. I said it at the time. I, I, I thought it was a bad throw. I don't throw. recall, That's so just I'm, me. I'm touched. Okay. I'm, that was a moment for I, me. I said it the next day. Tom a lot Brady of people said throw. Welker dropped the ball. Right. I thought it was a very difficult, because you're going to make Wes Welker, who's not your typical deep threat wide receiver, flip in the air and try to catch the ball over the wrong shoulder. He just made a bad throw. But if he makes a good throw, we're having a different conversation right now. Eli Manning, turnover machine. But Eli Manning made two Super Bowl runs that put him on the national map. 
Uh, so, will he be afraid of this moment? No, he'll go out there and do what he does. I think that you're a bit too hard on Eli Manning. I can understand the bitterness. It makes total sense because it robbed your boy Tom Brady of not one, but two, two Super, Bowls. Super Bowls. And so you haven't gotten over that. You're still lamenting mm -hmm. uh, those experiences, the emotions that come with it. You're a bit depressed. You haven't recovered, I, uh, typically I, so. I haven't. And, it's about eight I, years ago, yeah. one of them, same, and four same, the okay. other one. But I would say I this think it was you. yesterday. It feels I'm, yeah. look, I'm looking at Eli's numbers right now. He did lead the league in interception three times. Yep. Yep. In uh, 20, in 2007, it was 20. Mm -hmm. In 2010, it was 25. Yep. In 2013, it was 27. 27. 27. So, but, so that but, year but, he had 18 but, touchdowns to 27 wait, interceptions. Is it? Huh? No, no, no. It says here. I'm just. Okay. Gonna, I'm just okay. looking at them. No, I was just wondering because right that was the year they won the Super Bowl. That's right. It was the year they won the yeah. Super Bowl. But he had 20 interceptions. Wow. He had, he had 20 interceptions. Yeah. What I'm saying to you, Skip, is this. When you look at these numbers, what you're missing is in between. After the 20 interceptions, 10 and 14 over the next two years. After the 25 interceptions, just 16 and 15 the next two years. After the 27 interceptions, 14 last year, and thus far he only has six. All I'm trying to say to you is that Eli Manning is a two-time Super Bowl champion for a reason, and you need to respect that. Mm. Then you look at a Ruben mm. Randall. You look at an Odell Beckham Jr. I don't recall Eli Manning having those... I'm, having those requisite weapons. Manningham was, was was good, and you had some other weapons, but you didn't have an Odell Beckham Jr. on your squad. You look at some of the guys, some of the responsibility, rather, that Tom Coughlin and the Giants organization mm -hmm. has placed on Eli Manning's shoulders. You know, it's similar to what is asked of Tom Brady in order to do what he did, except... For some reason, whether it's schematically or otherwise, okay, you have continuity with the with the coordinators. You have continuity with Bill Belichick. Even though you've got the continuity with Tom Coughlin, mm -hmm. there's always been some upheaval as to what the offense should be doing because of the offensive line, the lack of protection to Eli, the absence of a running game. There's been a whole bunch of stuff that comes with it. So I don't look at Eli as some marginal quarterback, and I don't talk to, about him that way. There at no time. At no time has Eli Manning reminded me of Jay Cutler. At no time well, he does has mean. that happened. Well, it's more, you know, I, I don't know if it's, it's, it's Goma Pyle or what, what was the character's name for the 50? The R. Shucks kind of guy from the Andy Griffith days. I, I, I keep trying Goma to remember. I think, I think that's who Eli Manning reminds me of. To some yeah, okay, I'll buy that. The R. Shucks kind of yeah. guy or whatever. But he didn't seem <laughs> indifferent. He didn't seem apathetic. He's just always somebody that, you know, his actions weigh heavily on him. He actually cares a lot about what he's doing. And as a result, when he messes up, you can see it in him. You don't, it is, it's not like, I don't see a guy, I've never looked at Eli and felt like he didn't care. No. They didn't make any I don't think it bothers him a bit to throw it's, an interception. It, it, I just don't. Oh, yeah, that's not the Eli. Because he's Eli Manning. Well, listen, he'll that's he, not the he'll Eli be just fine. See. He's not going to lose that's his job. That's not the Eli I see, and I don't think it's the Eli Molly see. No. I think it's the Eli you see because you're trying to knock him because mm. he beats two on one again. Yeah. I knew it. Two, I knew it. It's okay. It's two on one. I don't I appreciate the help, but I don't need it. Let me be very, very clear. You haven't gotten over the fact that your boy lost two Super Bowls mm -hmm. to Eli Manning. Okay, so I'm looking at the QBRs for Eli Manning every full season since 07. Okay. I don't even see one over 66. It's on nope. scale of 0 to 100. No. Nope. Th that's how in wildly well, in inconsistent the 50s, you he told can me, be. You in the 50s, you told me that okay. was average. Okay. So what's the 60s? Okay, 60s. It, it's, it's, right? just, it's just okay. It's rated it's right now. That but, but here's the point. On two Super Bowl runs to two Super mm -hmm. Bowl championships, he had a QBR for those games in that postseason of 73 and 73. Uh -huh. Well, that's extraordinary, man. Uh -huh. I mean, that's just, and remember, the first one was all on the road. He goes on the road, he, and, and then he beat Aaron Rodgers at Lambeau. How could you do that? So, you know how Aaron you can Rogers do that when you have Lambeau? talent and you care. Oh, Jake, oh, Ty, Jake Cutler has talent, oh, but he doesn't care. Oh. It was Time out, man. point of order. Mm -hmm. The Godfather quote, you never tell anyone outside the family what you're thinking. That's what Eli lives by. He doesn't show emotion. The Mannings don't show their emotion. It doesn't mean he doesn't care. It means he's not soft. Second point of order. Mm. Do you star in a Gatorade commercial? Did I? Yes. Yes, you did. Yes. Well, I, I think star, excuse I think star me, in. We're all champions. Excuse me, we're yep. all champions cast yeah, in that. Do you think, Eli doing yeah, his rings. Do you think yep. they said, let's cast the weirdest quarterback in the league, yes. or let's get champions to, for this commercial they, they for were, Gatorade? They were torturing me to put me just after Eli. Just, just a couple of frames after Eli, mm. I had to watch him do this to yeah. the camera with two rings, right. and then, then I have to say it. They cast him because yeah. he's a champion. Yeah. That's right.
Respect there the man. There you go. Yeah. You probably asked to be a part of that Gatorade commercial because of Eli. I did yeah, not. That, that might have been the reason. It, it was a setup. That might have been the reason. Yeah. I don't think it was a setup. They didn't call Tony Romo. They called the way, Eli. Remember commercial. that. Yeah. It is a great yes, commercial. Thank you. <laughs> How do you, bro? Rex Ryan isn't pulling any punches versus the Jets this weekend. The guys will react after the break. Good old Rex being Rex. More first take in a minute. The Bears get their third victory of the season, defeating the Chargers at Qualcomm 22-19. Phillip Rivers threw for 280 yards in the loss, giving him 3,033 for the season. That marks his 10th straight season with at least 3,000 passing yards, tied for the fourth longest streak in NFL history. Pretty impressive. But his team has just two wins this season and holds the last spot in the AFC West. Skip, how would you rank Phillip Rivers' career? I don't know for sure. This guy baffles me. He's always baffled me. We did a show in Miami around the time LeBron broke through and won his first ring. Remember that over yep. the Thunder? Mm -hmm. And we had a question in the show about Philip Rivers. And or no, I'm sorry, it's about which athlete needs to break through now. Wh who has the most mm -hmm. pressure on him? So I'm going back. What, what is that? Four years? Five years almost now? Four years? And I pick Philip Rivers. He needs to validate. His, his sort of top 10 ranking as a top 10 or even top five quarterback statistically with some something big in the playoffs, a big playoff run. And the only way.